Welcome to the Artist Studio. I'm Michael, and I'm a reference associate here at the Ritter Public Library. Today, we will be speaking with Janet Wagner. She is a watercolorist from Vermilion, and she is a member of the Vermilion Arts Guild. Janet, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I, I used to tell my students, I was an art teacher, and I used oh, okay. to tell my students that my first art show was on my mother's refrigerator. <laughs> I've always loved art, always been interested in it, and mm -hmm. Uh, when I was in college, I helped work my way through college by substitute teaching, okay. and all of a sudden, changed my direction, decided I wanted to be a teacher, and became an art teacher, first elementary, then middle school, then high school. Oh, wow. Where did you teach? I taught in um, Crestline, Ohio first, and then I taught in um, Cleveland Heights, and mm -hmm. then I taught down in Reynoldsburg. And then um, I, you're still teaching people, right? Because I've had uh, at least one of the other artists I've talked to have said that they've uh, learned some from you. So, well, uh, once I started to have children, and that I started to teach at the senior centers mm. when my children were in, in high school and stuff. Mm -hmm. I had to I quit teaching at public schools when uh, we started to be transferred places with my husband's job. Okay. So I stayed home with the kids and <laughs> taught why they were in school. So, Great. but now I'm a senior myself and I still, I try to teach some workshops and, and used to teach out of my home also. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I can start off by showing some of your art here so we can start discussing that as well. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this piece? Can you see it? Yes. Um, I love to do architectural structures and if um, I specialized in house portraits and I've done all kinds of buildings and things like that, I don't say no to anything. I'll try pets, mm -hmm. flowers, what, you know, whatever, but I love to do architectural structures. Mm -hmm. I work for my own photographs and um, I always make it a sunny day. So if people mm -hmm. pictures over the internet or whatever, mm -hmm. I, you know, I ask, okay, which way does the building face? And, and I, get the shadows right and make them bright and cheery. Mm. Hmm. And I, um, now look, so do you primarily work in watercolor then? Uh, yes, as a, a teacher, I used to do everything. Mm -hmm. and, but once I, I never took um, watercolors in college. And I started when I was teaching high school in Reynoldsburg, I started taking uh, night classes with Leland McClellan. He was very well known down in Columbus years ago. And once I did watercolors, I loved them. And that's, mm -hmm. and so I, I don't dabble in anything else but watercolors anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously you said you were a teacher, but um, did you have any teachers or artists that inspired you? What, what really got you into art in the first place? I just loved it as a kid. Yeah. I always, that was my thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to, used to have projects where you had to make maps of things and I mm -hmm. could look at the map and, you know, just look at it and do the outline real well. And, it, you know, my mm -hmm. parents, my grandmother knew I was interested and they encouraged me and, mm -hmm. and gave me, you know, mm -hmm. projects and, and uh, materials mm -hmm. for different Christmas and whatever, you know, so mm -hmm. like, yeah. So you've pretty much just been, I mean, you've been doing art since you were a kid then. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But I never, well, I took it in high school mm -hmm. and um, then I took it in college and that was one of my majors. Yeah. All right. Well, let me share um, some more of your artwork here. This is another painting you sent to us. You want to tell us a little bit about this one? Oh, this is, um, these girls, all, this was for their 40th birthday mm -hmm. and the one in the middle is a friend and she had it on, um, Facebook and I said, oh, can I do a painting of it for you? So this mm -hmm. is a new one and I will have prints made and send her prints of it too. But then I changed, I put, um, she had a hat on and I put hats on the others mm -hmm. and I put <laughs> colors. And so it was my inspiration, but mm -hmm. I, I, you know, didn't try to copy it. And I, when I do people, I don't want it to look like, it's really hard in watercolors and I don't want it to look exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, any three girls, you know, somebody could say, oh, that looks like mine and, and mm -hmm. would be interested in, in, you know, 
possibly buying a print or a card or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, so do you uh, usually work with uh, an image first and then kind of work around that then? Yes, I, I usually work with my own photographs unless mm -hmm. people send them to me. But in this case, it was just so cute. And <laughs> I said, Amanda, do you mind if I do a picture? Mm -hmm. So she said, sure. <laughs> she hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, what is this a picture of here? Uh, here in, in um, Linwood Park. And this one's under construction. So you can see, and I paint very large. Mm -hmm. And then I make prints and things smaller. I really have the details in them. So this has not been cropped. And I have to, um, to have prints made and everything. I take mm -hmm. them. All color corrected because with watercolors it's transparent the white is the white of the paper and so you have to leave the white and paint around it and mm -hmm. build layers and the light comes through the paper and bounces off and comes back to you but when you print mm -hmm. the yeah. paint's opaque so you have to do color correction oh okay get it perfect but i like to make it what i call believable <laughs> it looks like my work and people would associate it with it. So. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips for people that are, um, you know, just starting out in art or people that are interested in getting into art in general and watercolors? Well, when, when I first took the watercolor classes, we had to buy all these paints and all these mm -hmm. brushes and it was a big investment and I loved it. And the other art teacher was taking with me and she said, I don't like watercolors. And I said, I'll buy you out, but I have to do it in increments because it was, you know, I mean, it was like $200, but I was only making 6,000 or something, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just loved it. And we had all these colors and I looked at people around me and they didn't know what to do with everything. Mm -hmm. and an excellent teacher. And I took from him for years. But when I teach, I teach with just, three or four colors and that way you learn to mix them and you buy one more tube of paint and you can make all these other colors so you're learning to work with it and everybody wants to paint but people don't want to draw first mm -hmm. and if your picture's drawn incorrectly then it doesn't matter how well you paint you know it's mm -hmm. good so I like to work with people uh, my biggest thing is trying to improve them you know mm -hmm point out things constructively and tell them okay, this will make it better and this you know and just show them slowly um i also when i teach i talk about everybody can't do math well if we start with um multiplication it's over your head so mm -hmm. let's start with adding and then subtracting so even if people have taken watercolors before i um I try to start at the basics and build up slowly and then they'll catch on real fast mm -hmm. where so many people, when you take lessons, they're, you know, up in uh, multiplication, division and, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and it scares the new artists. So I'd mm -hmm. like to bring them up to speed and then they'll progress so much faster. Mm -hmm. So start with the basics is what you're saying. With the basics. Build the basics first and then... Mm -hmm. And I continue to take classes from anybody I can. And now even on, you know, the web and things mm -hmm. like that, just because you're always learning and mm -hmm. you'll take something from everybody and then you'll build your own style. Hmm. Well, let me show off some more of your art here. Um, I think you said in the email that this one's a work in progress still. Uh, no, the, no. The, okay. the street was work in progress. Sorry. I can pull this back up. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is um, my daughter's neighbor, and it actually looks like my granddaughter, too. She's a year <laughs> younger. But this little girl just has to um, compete with her brothers. But yet, <laughs> obviously, she dresses herself. I mean, she's got pumpkins on her socks. <laughs> and, she, <laughs> and this is my grandson's um, skateboard, and uh, she grabbed it. She wanted to try it. So... It was just a, you know, hmm. a shot of a person. And I thought, oh, I'm going to work from this one. So, and mm -hmm. it was fun to, to paint it. So. Yeah. And then the last one we have here, I think the facades of a lot of different uh, locations in Vermilion. It was one of my biggest challenges um, because it was what to put in the picture 
and what to leave out. And I call this my vermilion history. <laughs> and so I've got, you know, the old buildings and new buildings and mm-hmm. all around. And then I, I have prints of this. And then I also have um, a card that comes with it that tells you what every building is. Oh, wow. Okay. You've got, uh, you know, quite a variety of things. And I tried to have a couple churches in there, not all the churches, you know, mm-hmm. the um, signs for the lagoons and, mm-hmm. and different historic buildings. So that was really fun to get it. Um, but it was just as hard to leave things out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And to simplify the drawings because I draw with so much detail. You've um, you've talked about prints a couple of times. Uh, where can people get prints of your work? Um, I have them at Main Street. Okay. When we have our different shows, and um, I've had a website for years and gotten commissions for that, and decided um, to close that down. And then COVID hit, so not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do take commissions. Uh, but I, you know, not actively seeking them. People mm-hmm. still come to me some, but I just draw for more for entertainment now. Mm-hmm. And try to do classes and help other people. When you do commissions, are you kind of, I think you kind of touched on it earlier. You have people send you images and you ask about. Yeah, I've had them uh, send me really images from all over. Mm-hmm. And I want people, I say, you know, they have to be doing things because I don't. In watercolors, you make a mistake, you have to start over. Mm-hmm. And so that's when, you know, the even the little girl you saw her head was down or the three mm-hmm. girls there looking away, oh. this type of thing. Yeah. So, but mostly it's it's uh, buildings I do. Mm-hmm. And people want pets done, I'll do it, but I like to direct them to somebody that specializes in mm-hmm. that because, you know, they know how to really get the feeling where I don't do that much of it. Mm-hmm. So I gladly pass on to somebody else, you know, because I want everybody to be happy with, you know, my work or somebody else's work too. So. All right. Well, great. Thank you for uh, taking out some time and doing this interview with us. Good. Well, I hope we'll be able to have the shows at the library again for the community. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so too. <laughs>